Oh yeah, I'll bring these up to speed a little bit. So, I mentioned that I had to make new selector arms. Um, as you can see there, that one's missing the actual pin, that one's bent. That one there, you could use it as a pinch, but I'm going to make a new one. So, I went ahead and made two. That's a replacement. And I stumbled across something. So that fits in the selector no dramas and it selects no problem at all. The other selector is down in this one. So we'll take that one out. Now there's got to be another selector over here. I know it's a bit hard to see. So if I put that new selector in, put that shaft back in, let me shift one sock here. As you can see, it won't sit down. It's not, it's not seating. These bearings are 100 thou off the, the plate here. What I've discovered is someone's remade this and made it too big. Hence why these ones are all bent to the shit house to make it work. So now I've got to make a new drive dog or a new selector dog the right size. So I know it's a bit hard to see where you are. The original ones are 1 1.4 inches. This aftermarket homemade job is inch, uh, just under inch and three quarter. So that's look. I made two of these. Made two of these. I was going to film making the third one. And. Uh, for some reason I sat it in there and I went, what's going on there? And then I discovered that's not right. So I'll strip this off and I'll show you what it is. Okay, so there's the part. Someone stamped top in here. Got two keyways, which are pretty ordinary. But a smile's too big. Should be 1.4 inches. This is 1735 or 34. So, got a piece of material here that's inch and a half. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go over to lay to make a new one. The right diameter. So, bit of a bugger. But anyway, I got no idea why I'd make it bigger. Might have been an apprentice job. <laughs> no idea. Anyway, we'll sort it out. Get a new one made. Put it in the shaper. Cut a couple of keyways. And we'll be right to go. That should be 1.4. There we go. Now I'll use a parting blade and put this centre groove in. So this groove here has to be 220 thou deep, uh, 375 wide.
good enough. Now I've got to put a centre bore through it. I forgot what that size is already to suit the shaft. So the bore has to be a 20mm bore in the middle there. Going in with five eight. Got to be bored out anyway. It's like fucking hurt. suit the shaft. Doesn't look a real nice ball, but it feels smooth. Okay. I'll grab the shaft and we'll have a look. That's good because it's got to be a slip fit. I'm happy with that. So I can break all these edges now, um, part it off, put it in the mill, fill them dogs on it, put it in the shaper, cut the keywords. Bit of a size difference in there. <laughs> you can see it there. Unbelievable. Okay, so what we're going to do to form these dogs, the Y axis, I've got to shift in from the edge 450 thou to a depth of a quarter of an inch. Um, I've touched off on this far side and I've got a dial indicator set up. Um, I just keep gnawing away until I get 450 thou deep or in from the, from the edge and repeat it on this side as well. So, now the coolant in this machine needs changing. It's not happening today.
Okay, I'll flip this over now off camera and do exactly the same on the other side and I'll bring you back when we're at the shaper putting the keyways in. So, so this is the setup I've got to do the keyways in it. So homemade angle plate, the strap clamp onto the back of it there. That's just a drill bit, broken drill bit ground up. Also got an indicator set up over here. I've got to move over 30 thou each side once I put the initial cut in. You can see it up in there. So it shouldn't be too bad. See how it goes, I guess. Whether <laughs> it'll work or it won't. Pretty much is how it's going to happen. It is absolutely teeming rain outside here. This has turned out a real bugger to try and film. There's no room here. I don't know whether you can see the keyway up in there or not. Um, I ran on the old numbers for the depth of the keyway and it's actually started breaking through the inside of the top there which I'm not worried about at all because I can govern how deep this the this the rod from the selector arm goes into that groove so that's not going to affect it I just won't go as deep on the other side on the opposite side and I'll modify the um, the key to suit so a bit of a bummer but anyway and it's very hard to film here there's no it 
it's very hard to get in anywhere to, to film it. So, anyway, I'll get this other one, other keyway in, and we can put it, put it all back together. Okay, so really, in theory, this should, this shaft should be replaced. Like it's pitted. It's. I'm just going to see how it all goes. And if, like it's been sitting in water at some time. There's a lot of pitting on the, on a couple of the gears. But I just want to see how it's going to go, for a while before I, take the plunge and replace shafts and go the whole full Monty on it so I'll put it back together and we'll just hope for the best you can see the play in the <laughs> but hopefully it'll work we can only hope You can see that gear there, it's pitted, these are flogged out, what I really should do is push that bearing out, which that bearing still feels alright, I did put a, another one in there when I had laying here earlier on, really should put two new slots in here but, yeah, see how it goes. So there's, there is the um, selected dog I just made, which looks no dramas there. Um, really, there's this is a um. Like there's no oil that goes in this gearbox, it's just grease. Um, there's no seals, there's no nothing. So it's just a grease filled gearbox. So really what I could do now is it could actually go back in the in the in the main assembly. Um, the only thing I have to do is source another coupling because there's a drive the rubber drive for this one is gone oh, I don't know yeah better off just buy a new bar so be done with it but she's had a fair life this this is a replacement gear you see the way it's been done here I'd say I believe these two are replacement gears as well somewhere along the line and so is this one here that have been replaced and whoever made these brass ones have done a beautiful job. Whoever made these fibre, these are two fibre ones, which is probably a good thing, because that's a weak link. I just don't know how they'll hold up. I don't know how long they've been in there, I don't know. You know that'll, we've, we've got the capabilities to, to make more gears if we have to. So... Anyway... Tell. Time will only tell whether it'll work or not. Who knows? But it can sort of go back together now. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty good to go. Pack it full of graphite grease and um, Get it on there. So, so here we go. Anyway, move on again.